Hi guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to write net ionic equations for precipitation reactions and how to identify which compound is going to make the precipitate. The first reaction we're going to look at is that between sodium carbonate and iron 2 sulfate. Now this is a double replacement reaction, which means that essentially the partners are going to swap. Okay, so the sodium at the moment is partnered with the carbonate, but that's actually going to swap partners and the sodium is going to partner with the sulfate over here and the iron is going to partner with the carbonate. Okay, so the metals are swapping their partners for the other one. And that's going to give us what our products are on this side. So sodium sulfate and iron two carbonate. Now we need to determine what is it that makes the precipitate. So when we go into the reaction, these are both in aqueous solution. And one of these is going to stay in aqueous solution and one of them is going to form the precipitate. So we look at our precipitation rules. OK, and if we looked at the sulfates, we can see that all sulfates are soluble except for a few exceptions, but sodium is not one of those exceptions. So that means that sodium sulfate is going to be aqueous in solution. And let's just double check that. So that would mean that this would be our precipitate here, but let's double check it. So if we look at our carbonates, all carbonates are insoluble, meaning they will form precipitate except for compounds of ammonium and group one metal cations. Now iron is not a group one metal cation, so that means it's not part of the exception, it's part of the rule. So this would be our precipitate. Now, before you actually start getting to the ionic parts of the equations, you should be writing a full balanced chemical equation. So let's do that right now. So we've got sodium carbonate and iron two sulfate. So this is our full balance chemical equation. And now we're going to write our ionic. So an ionic equation is exactly what it sounds like. We're splitting up all of our different compounds into ions. Now we can only split up those that are aqueous in solution because that's what aqueous means. Aqueous means that the ions separate in solutions. Um, we cannot separate the solid because a solid doesn't contain ions. So let's have a look at that now. So we've got sodium here. We're splitting that up into its ions. So we've actually got two Na plus and CO3 two minus, iron two plus and SO4 two minus. And these are all aqueous solutions. On the other side of our reaction, we've got Again, sodium, these are both aqueous. Now for the solid, because as I mentioned earlier, it does not form ions, therefore we don't split it up, we leave it complete. Now this is what we call our full ionic. That means that what we're actually seeing is every single species that is within the vessel is shown in this equation. What you would usually be asked for though is not the full ionic, it's the net ionic. Now our net ionic is essentially our full ionic minus our spectator ions. Now our spectator ions are those that don't actually participate in the reaction. They remain in solution and they don't change states from the reactants to the products. So if we compare them across our arrow here, we can have a look at that now. So we've got sodium ions here, 2Na+. Now, if we look at that same species on this side, it actually doesn't change. They are the same. That means they're spectator ions. They're just chilling around in the solution, but not actually reacting or doing much. Let's look at the carbonate. So the carbonate here, we've got aqueous here, but then over here, it's actually become a solid. So that's not a spectator ion. That one does participate in the reaction. Same with the iron two plus here, that becomes a solid. 
And sulfate, sulfate is another spectator ion because it doesn't change either side of our reaction arrow. So our net ionic is going to be our full ionic, but we're gonna minus or get rid of each of our spectator ions. So our net ionic equation is gonna look like this. We usually write the metal first. And there you have it. That's our net ionic equation for this particular reaction. Let's go through one more example together. This is one of my favorite precipitation reactions because I just love the color change. So potassium iodide and lead nitrate, um, both in solution, are colorless liquids or colorless aqueous solutions. And so when we react them, we actually end up with this beautiful yellow precipitate. Now remember, this is a double replacement reaction. So again, the metals are gonna swap partners. So potassium is gonna partner with the nitrate. And our lead is gonna partner with the iodide. Let's determine which of these species is going to form our precipitate. Looking at our solubility rules again, Let's look at nitrates. Now, all nitrates are soluble and there are no exceptions. So that means that potassium nitrate is gonna be aqueous, it's soluble. Now, lead iodide, let's have a look at that. So if we look at the table that says soluble, it says that iodide is soluble, except for silver, mercury, and lead iodide. Now lead iodide is one of the exceptions to the rule. So that means that this is going to be a solid and that's the name of our precipitate. So remember, we're gonna start by writing our full balanced equation for this before we get into the ionic ones. Now make sure that you balance your equations and also make sure that you write all of your states of matter in as well. Okay, now we can look at our full ionic. Remember, we're splitting up our species here into the ions. Now we've got two potassium and we've also got two iodine. And remember that our solid, we do not split that up into ions because it's not in ions, it's in an ionic lattice. Okay, now we've got our full ionic. We're wanting to look at where our spectator ions are. Okay, so we're, again, we're comparing across the arrow here. So potassium and potassium, both in aqueous solutions, they're exactly the same. So we can get rid of that as a spectator ion. Iodine changes from an aqueous to solid. So that is participating in the reaction. And that's the same as the lead here. Lead goes from aqueous to solid. Nitrate. 2NO3 minus aqueous, exactly the same on the other side. That is also a spectator ion. So now we have our net ionic. And that is our net ionic equation for this particular reaction.